Welcome to St. Lucia, our Caribbean home. Although we have lived on a boat for the last five years, we spent a lot of time anchored here between two amazing pitons. From time to time we would send our kids to local kindergarten to spend some time with other kids and learn English. And Bartek used to work as a pilot. Today we joined Kuba in his local school, where Bartek gives a motivational lecture about following one's dreams and his flying job as an example. And then we hang out with our local friends. If you are new on our channel, please subscribe and click the notification bell and set option to all to get notified about our new videos every week. Alright, it's good. It's my first appearance in public in uniform, aside from going or coming from work. So. So what the plan for today is, we're gonna go to Cuba school, the primary school, and Bartek's got a lecture about the planes and pilots' life. Cuba, let's go! And we also want to um, uh, lend some support for some exactly. kind of... Uh... So this is what we do now. Oi, oi. Okay, vamos! Actually, no, this is the first time I'm going somewhere in uniform, not to work. Okay. I'm going to uh, Cuba school. Cuba school. Yeah. How are you, Morin? How are you Hello. doing? Hello. I'll be on the other line. Thanks. Yeah. Sarafet. Sarafet. What? Sarafet. Sarafet means what's happening. Sarafet? Sarafet? Sarafet means what's happening. Sarafet. Let's go, Cuba! Kuba, bigni do tate, bigni, hop, 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 hop. So we got, we got five minutes to make it to the school bus. <laughs> Good morning. So we managed to snatch a, a, a coconut water on the way. Oh, yes, Uncle, when you ask them. Good morning, so we caught the school ah. bus. <laughs> Have you heard about the sound system like that in the school bus? That's a good sound system for a school bus. <laughs> I think I think all the school buses in the world should have a sound system like that. <laughs> it's awesome. Cuba. So. Oh, it's a volcano. So we're getting, we're coming right close to the volcano, and the volcano stinks like rotten eggs. Someone's late for school. Someone is sleeping. Wake up! 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 Wake up!
Morning, good morning. So, so I think this is the first time in 30 years I'm gonna end up in principal's office. Oh yeah, go to the principal office now. <laughs> Hello. How are you? So where's the principal's office? Who's gonna show me? Good morning. 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 So this is Kuba's classroom. <laughs> no kids. Hey, you go to the kids. Over there. Go, go, go. Have mercy on my country, sir. Give me your compassion. All the praise and praise giving forevermore. Thank you very much, that was very kind. When I was a kid, I also looked up the sky and I really liked uh, looking at the airplanes, but it seemed completely out of reach. I also lived in, a, at the time, very, very poor country. Uh, it was in Poland before uh, communism fell, so we didn't have uh, too many possibilities. Yet, the dream kind of stayed on, and then uh, many years later, even though I went through different things in life, different, uh, a few different professions, Eventually, I got to the point where it seemed like, well, maybe this is possible. So when I realized that there is a slim chance, I went for the slim chance. So uh, I guess the big thing is about if you really have a dream, absolutely go for it. Uh, don't think that everything or anything around you is limiting you from achieving what you dream about. It might seem very remote, it might seem almost impossible, it might seem like it's going to take a very, very long time. But if you can do in life what you would always dreamt about, you're never going to feel like you're actually working. And it's a beautiful thing. Uh, I always go happy to work. I don't uh, have this problem waking up in the morning thinking, oh my god, I have to go to work, I don't want to get up, or I have to go to school. No, no, I'm sure you're happy to go to school. <laughs> but. Uh, uh, yes, it's, it's, it's really an amazing thing uh, because you're sort of totally in agreement with the way your whole life goes uh, when, you, when you do the things you dream. So yes, it took quite a few years, it took a lot of uh, sacrifice, uh, it took uh, a lot of persistence and uh, it took a few moments where it felt like I'm going to hit the wall, you know, psychologically, financially, all kinds of ways. But Eventually, we got to the point where we are, and uh, now I'm doing what I always dreamt about, and uh, flying the airplanes, <laughs> and seeing the world. And if you think that's something you want to do, then definitely go for it. If you have any other dream in your life, then definitely go after it too. Don't hold back, ever, ever. Okay? <laughs> Thank you, guys. have a dream, you go for it, right? He never thought that he would one day make it, but he persevered, he was consistent about what he wanted to do in life, and even if he had many hardships, he was able to succeed. And we'd like to wish him all the best as he continues his journey as a pilot. Let's give him another round. Thank you very much. And I wish you all the best in reaching your dreams, too. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Can she ask a question? 
Or you want to ask him any questions? Yeah, yes. do you have any questions? Sure. Sure, I see one over here. Yes. Have you ever crashed the plane? Oh! <laughs> Have I ever what? Crashed the plane. <laughs> no, no, you know, it's kind of looking like I'm in one, one piece, right? The planes are not like cars. If you crash a plane, it's over. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, no, we have never crashed a plane. And uh, it's uh, definitely not something you would ever want to experience. No, we never want that. We have a lot of training. Uh, we actually train for a lot of emergency situations. So when something does come up on the airplane, there's always many, many systems that can do the same thing. So if something breaks, we can turn on another thing and the plane keeps going safely. Uh, so there is really, uh, it's very, very re remote chance of, of, of ever crashing a plane. Of course, they do happen because there is millions of flights all the time and uh, sometimes eventually confluence of many, many different factors uh, take place and, and uh, they do happen. But uh, uh, but it's an extremely rare thing. The, the flying is statistically by many, many fold most uh, safe way of transportation, including walking. Yeah. How long do you study to fly? How long do you study? How, do you, how long do you study? It's a, it's a very individual thing. It depends on which country you start with. There are many uh, schools that have uh, programs for that, but you also can do it completely on your own, uh, meaning uh, you can take... Um, uh, cor courses in the local airport, uh, especially uh, it's very popular that way in the US and in Europe. Uh, and you can study on your own and you can uh, um, basically take exams as you go. And uh, eventually you get to the point where you have the, the proper papers and, um, and then you also have to work on uh, uh, much experience because the airline will not hire you unless you have many hours on the airplane already. Is it hard to fly a plane? Flying itself is actually not that hard. It's all the procedures that accompany it to make, ev to, to make everything very accurate and make sure you avoid the other airplanes and make sure you do everything exactly as, as everything is laid out. That's where it gets a little bit complicated. I have little wings for you, which are not exactly official, but maybe, just maybe they will get you somewhere on the road to your dream. So, and I have, uh, I have wings and I also have, I don't know if I have enough wings for everybody, but I also have cards with all kinds of different airplanes yeah. that we fly. Oh, and I will show you specifically the one I fly. It, again. it is a Boeing 767. Oh, I already see that. Okay, looks like that. And it is 55 feet high, 200 feet long, and has a wingspan of 170 feet. And weighs, when it's fully loaded with fuel and people, 450,000 pounds. Oh. And wow. how many people? Every time when I realize that, <laughs> it's amazing that this kind of weight can fly. And that kind of weight can fly with 24,000 gallons of fuel, can fly for almost 13, 14 hours nonstop, and uh, at max altitude of 43,000 feet. And let's see, what else is good here? How many persons can we How many today? persons? We got, with, with our seat configuration, we have 260 people on board. What? But yes. We could put this entire school and a lot more <laughs> on this one plane. Oh my goodness, we have, we have many upcoming pilots here. Many, many, many. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. We got a new follower. Yes, you're gonna subscribe. <laughs> well, it's been a pleasure. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we got a little something for you. Okay, thank you so much. <laughs> for the school. Yes. Thank you. yes. So because we're we feel almost ashamed not uh, having to pay no, for a Cuba, okay, you know. So we thought maybe we'll chip in for something. Okay, then thank you so much. Oh, where's your classroom? <laughs> and this is Kuba's teacher, yes. <laughs> Alexia. Alexia? Ah, and and <laughs> okay, yeah, we go. We go to okay, the room. We're going because Kuba really wants to, he wants to show the us the garden. That's what it is. Where is the garden? Nice garden. Ah, oh, I can go to school Perfect. like that. Yeah, the school is like a fresh breeze. Mm -hmm. The views of pitons. Mm -hmm. Yeah, perfect. Hmm? Yes, little bit, yes. Yes, we're starting. Mm -hmm. 
for you to say Man, this was my, I think, craziest, I don't have much experience in public speaking, but this was the craziest Statement. one for, definitely, <laughs> definitely, because I was just kind of thrown into the center exactly. and talk. And like, then we got so many, you, so <laughs> I got some technical problems and the SD errors. Uh, SD card <laughs> error, yeah. Oh, no. Anya, Anya and GoPro, is, they're, they're famous, they have a very rocky relationship. It's a really difficult relationship <laughs> <laughs> with the SD cards. <laughs> it's always SD error format, I went, no, no, I don't even know format. <laughs> But it was really nice. Uh, it's an yeah. SD, it's an SD, SD car, it's an SD, SD card, card wife connection error. Okay, I'm gonna call Zaka. Zaka. <laughs> Zaka man. Zaka man. <laughs> So now we're catching the bus. <laughs> or any car. Or any Come car. Right? Down to any Sofia. car driving down <laughs> this road. So apparently hitchhiking is even easier than any other countries because you don't you don't have to even raise your hand. It's okay, we can jump on this. <laughs> Thank you very much. Ah, <laughs> What's your name? Vijay. Vijay. You, you kind of my guy, man. I love pilots and I love him. And <laughs> <laughs> I was telling my guy, look, look a pilot, look a pilot. That's why I pull over. <laughs> Thank you guys. Thank you guys. Thank you. So you guys okay, live, you live here. Kind uh, of. Yeah, we live on the boat. Nice. In between, in between the pitons. Okay, but where are you from? India. India, yeah. yeah. This is where. Flight later. Yeah. But it was not on autopilot, right? Autopilot or not? It takes over the airplane. Okay. Yeah. So not even you can control it. You guys can just walk up. Yeah, 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 yeah don't absolutely, worry, yeah. absolutely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you very much. Thank it was, you. It was a pleasure. It was pleasure, man. Yeah. <laughs> it's always a pleasure to speak to a pilot. <laughs> <laughs> Thank, Thank you, you so very much. much. Thank Thank you. Very kind yeah, yeah, yeah. So we're gonna grab a coffee. Oof. So honey. Yes. Maybe I should just uh, wear a pilot uniform all the time. I get free rides. Okay. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that was nice of him. It was really nice. nice e Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Yeah. How are you doing? Oh, I love this mask. This is my new favorite. Hello. Morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. Hello. What's up? You must go this way. Hi. Yeah. Hello. Making sawdust. Making what? Sawdust. Sawdust? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> yeah, it's good stuff. <laughs> okay, perfect. Oh. Now we can just undress Chill. on yourself. <laughs> now we can, can do make it. You can make it just, just right. make it naked. Oh, you just, you just been there. You just yeah, yeah we're just oh, oh, oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> I got thrown in the center and I was like... Exactly. Uh, ah. <laughs> <laughs> so honey, this, yes. this one. Look this one? It. This one's good. This one's really good. That must that must not be Zakats because it's really good. Yeah, no, it's, it's, a, it's, two. it's actually uh, one of the uh, inspirations with the lollipop thing. Not... Lo lollipop thing? Thing. The last eight percent of battery and no charger here, so be yeah. good here. Yeah, man. We fell in love with Sofia at first sight. We absolutely love that place. Wild, sometimes tough, but real. With its people, their stories, lives, surrounded by amazing and asphalt nature. Since we visited St. Lucia last time, lots have been changed. Bartek is not working anymore and we cannot travel so easily that we used to before. In spite of all, our life under sails continues. Please subscribe to watch other videos of San Lucia and more. Thank you, fair winds and stay safe.
to fall back into.